Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to tell you what is the difference between Project North and True North in Revit. So uh, I am going to first tell you what is Project North and True North. So let's begin. I am going to Autodex website. First, I am going to tell you about definition of Project North and True North. So it is very important topic. We should be clear about Project North and True North. So Project North is typically based on predominant axis of the building geometry. It affects how you sketch in views and how views are placed on sheet. So suppose if you are working uh, here in floor plan. So if you are working on your sheet as uh, like A1 sheet, A0, A2, A4 or drawing area. So we prefer to work in 90 degree as uh, in parallel to our sheet so that we should feel comfortable on our drawing sheet. So uh, but true north is the real world north direction based on site condition so the so, but uh, true north is different as per site condition but in drawing area we draw as per uh, parallel to our sheet so and but we denote one symbol like this and to any angle like this or vertical or straight or any other angle and this denotes true north so this is the difference so uh, if i am going to my uh, drawing area this is a uh, uh, floor plan and if i am going to my side plan so we make side plan as for our drawing area and this is the with the help of project north so after this if you want to show your actual site uh, angle of this site plan you are required to first draw a true north here suppose i am going to place a true north here and this is known as base point and survey point which is together here and if it's missing in your drawing area you should go to this uh, visibility graphics in properties here and you can go to edit and then you are required to go to site here site and you click this plus sign and you should make sure that this survey point is checked here if it is unchecked you should check it so you should be aware of this uh, survey point and if you go again here you can see the uh, this is the true north is real world north direction based on site condition and this is the survey point in the revit project so these both are aligned together in Revit but we can separate it to denote true north so this symbol is for base point and this is for survey point so if you go to Revit you can see both are together but we can separate them so uh, I am going to first separate the base point and I am going to with left mouse click I will drag to base of this building and you can see this is the base point if you go to this uh, black and white mode you can see this is the angle to the north so this is our base point and this is the survey point so you should understand this so we can make separate them in Revit and now I am going to set true north for this so I am going to realistic mode. This is our site plan and uh, after this you can go to uh, insert your true north. So I am going to insert tab and I am going to load family and I am going to this uh, English Imperial and you, you will click after this your annotations tab here and in the annotation tab you will search for north point. So there are two arrow default north arrow and north arrow 2 so you will select this one north arrow 1 I am going to select this you can also insert from any library from internet google and I am going to first place the north arrow so we have inserted but it is not showing so you are required to go to architecture then annotate 
and now after that you will click this symbol symbol and now we are ready to place our 2d symbol here and now i am going to uh, rotate this north to true north so first we are required to select this and then i am going to rotate suppose actual site condition says that this north point is at 45 degree so i am going to enter 45 and so this is the working method in our architectural design project we work in our drawing sheet as per our drawing sheet and but we denote the actual true north like this here or like this or like this or any other angle so now if you want to show your actual site according to true north you are required to do some setting so now we have uh, separated this and this is the survey point and this is the uh, base point and we will rotate as per north point and this north will be 90 degree in drawing sheet so i am going to first manage here and now i will go to this uh, is location this is coordinates and this third one is position so we will uh, check this arrow here and now you can uh, select second one this first one is relocate project and now is second one is rotate to north so i am going to first select rotate to north but before that you are required to check in properties here that orientation is set to uh, true north here if it is says uh, it will be in project north you are required to make it to true north otherwise it will so error here uh, so i am going to select this true north here apply and now we will go to this drop down arrow and now rotate true north i am going to select and you can see this uh, is the rotation here and this is the point we will drag this point to this north point so i am simply with the left mouse click you will just drag this to this point here and now it is uh, aligned to this north point here i will uh, go this end from this end and you will simply rotate this to straight and parallel to sheet i am going to and this is the north direction and this side is set as per true north so now uh, you can present to your client the actual site uh, orientation and you can set true north here so this is the method and again if you are going to your uh, floor plan here i'm going to ground floor plan and this is the working in a drawing sheet area if you want to show true north in floor plan also you can go to orientation and it is set to project north by default it will go to this arrow and select true north and apply and it is as per your true north of the site plan so likewise you can set your uh, true north and uh, now you have understand the difference between project north and uh, true north so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more topics in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks